I mean, anything that'll keep uh, you alive from that physical damage, and of course, uh, Frost Shield will do that. Mm-hmm. Uh, pairing it up with Jug would be pretty good here. Another hero that we see uh, picked up against the commander a lot that could work with this Lich is uh, the Troll Warlord. Uh, we haven't seen any success from it this tournament, really. There was one game where it did uh, pretty well, but other than that, it's just been getting shut down. Okay, I like that. Centaur, Lockdown, Stampede, Engage or Disengage if you need it. Tanky Frontliner. It's not the worst uh, offlaner you could have picked here. I don't know, I don't really like the Centaur. Uh, again, I don't think you... you have to worry about getting blown up. It's okay against the Enchantress in lane because she is punished uh, due to her low armor. Mm, base HP. Uh, any attacks that she's going to try and get off the center of her ass will be returned. But, uh... Again, this lineup, it just feels uh, awkward, too slow. It doesn't combo that well with itself. And while you do have the Stampede to kind of help you run at the enemies, I feel like it's still pretty easy for them to disengage. That will make it even easier. It counters out basically everything for the enemy team with this Juggernaut. You can get out of the Lich's spells, get out of Searing Chains, most of Ember's kit, and of course Centaur is not going to be able to uh, stomp a double edge on you as you run away. Uh, you were talking about this uh, Juggernaut, though, but I think you meant it on uh, the other team. Yeah, this feels like a bit of a pick ban in a way um i think maybe brazil if they wanted it they waited too long for it uh it worked with both Ten lineups and you know if you don't want to play against it and you think it fits your lineup why not pick it up and take it away from the side of team brazil and that's exactly what they've done i, I think this can really work with their lineup they banned the bat rider thinking maybe that the tiny won't be mid uh, the tiny doesn't necessarily have to be mid could be four with five enchantress so definitely options Available for Infamous. For uh, what do you think they uh, pan out here for their last one on Infamous? They got a lot more reserve time to work with in Team Brazil. They can think about the ban and the pick. Banning a safe laner. Um... The tiny is flexible. It can be played in the four or the five, right? So they could either run a, uh, a mid here or they could run a position four, right? So they're trying to ban out a uh, yeah safe laner for against the enemy team though. Mm, PL maybe final ban. PL well, I don't Spectre. mind it. Spectre I don't think they'd want to deal with either. I mean uh, Juggernaut isn't the the most natural carrier of the uh, Silver Edge. Legion Commander and Tiny could both do it though. Again Echo Saber is a pretty natural builder for the Tiny, but. I don't think Spectre is something you really want to risk uh, having to play against. You're right. As a Juggernaut, I think you'd be uh, a lot happier just limiting uh, super hard carries you have to play against in a late game. Just don't know if you know this, Neff. There's a uh, monster behind you. There is. A... I don't believe you. Chat said. Just want to make you aware. Timber getting banned. So, I mean, their lockdown is certainly lacking if they're going to be up against uh, Timber. <laughs> I see your face. You're just like, I is there a monster behind me? There isn't. There isn't. It definitely is. As long as I do not believe there is a monster behind me, there isn't. Five. Seriously, fix Three. the cans. Oh, my God. Is it throw? You know what? Twitch, check your feet. We'll be right back. Great. Right. Be calm. Take the analyst desk, it. okay? You got this. I got it. This is a uh, live in play. Neff going for the fix on the cans. He's got this one slot to deal with. If he could just get this monster in there. Oh, perfect. Absolutely perfect. And they go to the Bloodseeker on Infamous. Um, yeah, that could be, what, mid Legion Commander, offlane Bloodseeker. Go into the four tiny five Enchantress. Perfect form. We can give Neff a 10. Russian Ten Judge gives seconds. him a 6.3. Judge from China, 7.9. Looking good with the scores. Looks like Neff's got a perfect stack there. Sets this up, lines it up. Monster looking great. And there's the TV pick for Team Brazil. Okay. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for taking the wheel there, buddy. I don't know if you heard any of that. But, uh, um, no, I've got headsets, unfortunately. But uh, now it looks nice and pretty. 
a pretty ish. I suppose it could be straightened up just a little bit, but it uh, should be enough to make everybody happy. But not that you can ever make Twitch chat happy. <laughs> but we try. We do. Try. We try. You know, I'm willing to take criticism. Again, I regularly watch the chat as I stream, and uh, that is one thing that I am able to fix. I don't watch chat, obviously. Hmm. <laughs> you see, I know some people who actively avoid it, but uh, you know, thick skin here. I've been NA Dota for a long time. Uh, there is way worse things I hear from my teammates in games that I could hear from uh, Twitch chat. Both of them objectively wrong most of the time, but still, you know, you, you listen to feedback. I, I like how they uh, ended both these drafts, though. The Bloodseeker on one side, uh, getting a little popular right now in the offlane, and of course it'll uh, counter out them being able to move away the Stampede as the Marana leaps, and uh, Terrorblade is a Costa Belay special. Uh, he was known as one of the best uh, one players in South America for a time, and his Terrorblade was uh, feared and respected. So game two coming up between Team Brazil and Infamous. Look at that mouse. You guys see that mm -hmm. mouse? Catch us if you can. So let's, let's go. See. Supposed to be on the TV. I don't know if that was the pick I was really expecting. But certainly one that... I don't, I don't know if it's going to work. Mm. It seems like a tough TV game. It does. Uh, if anyone can do it, it is goes to Belay, though. Uh, again, I'm not that big on this hero myself. I think he's a lot better when you run him against something like a Venomancer. Again, being able to punish... Uh, heroes with that reflection ability then of course you're always getting off that poison sting onto him so the shoe becomes uh, put on the other foot there no ember spirit uh, just kind of chilling around the rune here I think uh, you're going to have a lot easier of a time taking them on uh, the side of Brazil but they're invading really hard in the top lane. Bloodseeker very far forward. I go with his boots first too. Ooh, arrow. Misses. Yeah, miss you miss one hundred percent of arrows you don't throw. Even if you throw the arrow too early, you can't contest the rune properly, but whatever. Radiant versus Dire Fine. It all Look at that. Comes down to two this. for two. Or two yeah. and two. Not a bad start to things. No, not at all. We've seen this. Look at this plane, beautiful uh... block. You know what the counter to the perfect block is, though? I'm just to interrupt you real quick. It's not blocking at all. Look at these people outskill themselves. <laughs> Sorry, continue. No, I was just going to say uh, we've seen this Bloodseeker in the offlane just have massive games from multiple teams. Yep. It's been very yeah. impressive. And it actually just came into popularity out of nowhere all of a sudden in uh, Omega League. Secret started running it, and then everyone was like, Hey, that's pretty good. I'm going to try that too. So 40R on this Ember. It was the mid Legion commander. Offlane Bloodseeker. Obviously, Pacus on the safe lane. Jug will be there with a cell. Arrow hits on the Enchantress. And close, but no kill. Wait up. King RD taking some harass, but uh, again, oh, she doesn't have any points to return. King RD's actually going to go down here. First blood, hoping to get denied by neutrals. Does some damage on the flea too. Jeez. Neutrals, uh, the centers. He refused to kill one of their own, unfortunately. Look at where Coast to be always farming. Goes to be like farming the only place he can right now, which of course is between his tier one and two tower. He's nice and safe back here, though. Down here, uh, bottom lane. We going through uh, two leap charges, trying to get away from Excel. Only taking him so far, though. So. 
Turned it out a bit slow though, all things considered. Mm -hmm. If we heading towards bottom, arrow on cooldown. Nothing to throw just yet. So just using the enchant on a King RD and he's got himself hoof stomp and one into the retaliate. So just doing with infinite shots, hoof stomp lands onto Pacas. We finally comes over, but you've got three for, for Pacas. If you get another enchant, King RD could really be in some trouble depending on where they are under the tower. And right now I think he's close enough where he should be safe. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, again, the game is slowed down a little bit. Uh... Let's see us try. It's supposed to be like doing uh, pretty well for himself. 14 and 3. Things get a lot easier for, for TB as the lane goes along. Again, his uh, first couple levels is susceptible to getting harassed out of lane. And of course, uh, him having that massive agility growth it means phase damage increases a lot at every level. 4.8 agility per level on that hero. It's one of the highest in the game. Uh, beat only out by like. God. I know Pugna gets like 5.2. He's a very smart guy for mm -hmm. Int. There's nobody quite like Terror Blade. Bottom lane. Taking Maybe a not look dropping over at Pacus. A couple more shots needed, but he does have that this. stick and he'll salve up. Yep. The uh, runner opted not to go a little bit further in with Leap, uh, despite having the charges available, because Juggernaut did have that fairy fire that he hadn't committed yet. Showing restraint there on Flea. And uh, DD Frost here blast? for KXY. Peta taking oh. some damage into the trees, trying to survive. Avalanche out, Wood right down, and now they've got the toss and the Wood right. But Peta can't come back into this. Michael will probably give up his life. However, that does allow Peta to survive. Michael uh, making the ultimate sacrifice for his core. I mean, Peter showed us last game what he's capable of if he pops off. And he, of course, he... This is the uh, 200 IQ move. You're low HP. You don't teleport back into your base. Uh, you teleport to the tower. Flea! Almost drops the creeps here in the bottom lane. He's got to be careful and get back. Yeah, there we go. King RD uh, drags the creeps off to him. The creeps will actually outspeed Flea there. He moves at uh, 290 to the creeps at 325. They did a couple of loot charges, but no sense of using those. So far, 28 and 6 for Coast of the LA. He's uh, pretty slow overall, at least for right now, but I think, at least for Infamous, their level 6 is uh, going to be very, very strong. Does the greed hurt them? Duel on a 40R. The damage is not enough. And, uh, very close. Get him in the bottom lane and top lane. Top. You see here is run at two. Papita has him low, trying to get the kill. Frost Shield, body blocks from Costa Bealy. Now trying to go the other way. Creeps are there. Body blocks again from Costa Bealy and the creeps. Salve used, but eventually Papita will be here for the kill. You can slow him down, but you can't stop this man. He's uh, too quick. Bottom lane, uh, there's a scar mesh as well that I think you might have missed. Just uh, King RD trying to get that stomp off and kill uh, Paxas, but uh, Paxas is perfect timing there with that uh, blade fury. Being able to dodge the uh, stomp and uh, almost take him down. So, they'll slow both of them down. I think in the end, it ended up costing King RD a bit more. Pop a bunch of regen. But now it's got his healing ward. But, uh, doing a great job here on Pox's Juggernaut. Uh, sitting uh, pretty high up here at the very top of the net worth chart. Seated by uh, the Legion Commander, and then the next three are all heroes on Team Brazil. Michael, meanwhile, he's about to hit that level four. I like to get that Blink Tagger as quickly as possible. Obviously, that's some ways away. KXY sitting low, but has the duel, and now here comes Michael. Avalanche, and... Ooh. No toss beforehand, looking to maybe ram him back in. 40R needs to be a bit careful. King RD? 
He ends up dead. Maga survives. Flee. He's quite low. Now, meanwhile, a cell comes over. Tower shots and the kill onto this ember. Yeah, we had a turnabout there in the bottom lane. Um, just about to finish off Poxes, but uh, he managed to dodge into the trees, into the fog there, before he could get that double edge onto him that would have finished him off. And then, of course, Creeps came by. He envisioned a both heroes, got that Omni Slash off, and... Uh, cleaned up the centaur despite it looking so heavy in Team Brazil's favor for that small skirmish. Some drugs sitting top of the net worth still. Well, KXY, he's going drums, still sitting mid. He's a level ahead of the Ember for the moment. Illusion. It's just four to one, the game uh, who, who benefits from this pace thus far? Because it's not feeling like it's ramped up like the last one. Things being a little bit slower. Uh, I, I'd i say for now, uh, Infamous. If it uh, keeps going at this pace for a super long time, definitely Team Brazil uh, terribly being able to just farm more and faster than the Juggernaut. I mean, he's always going to be able to shape these shove lanes with his Conjure image. Uh, he's going to be able to damage people and of course if you play very slow you're going to get to uh play around his metamorphosis all these things he's really happy with mid lane i did miss uh kxy bringing down the ember spirit there but, uh, that's inevitable you get too far forward you sit underneath this pre-play you will allow him to get uh all these moment of courage procs off with you you're not a huge base armor hero with uh ember spirit the top lane is going down to uh Get the top tier one, 2k lead all of a sudden for Infamous. It may not be moving so quickly, but ooh, arrow. Nothing more than that from Fully. Meanwhile, in the jungle, Michael's been spotted. He spots out both Coast Dealing and KJ. Toss back. Sinister Gaze is there, just giving up a free body to Coast of Dealing. Actually, KJ gets the kill. Yeah, not so great if KJ gets a kill. Anything that'll slow uh, Costa B late down is not worth his time. This guy needs to focus up and uh, farm hard. Ooh, I get the roll of oh, jelly though. Did he send that back to base? Please don't tell me he sent that back to base. He sent it back to base. You absolute mad lad. That is a global uh, neutralizer. You can click that on anybody anywhere. Duel on the centaur. Paka's coming over. Arrow, the decision there to... Throw it onto the jug, probably helps King RD survive. Stampede used, KXY in trouble, four heroes here. Metamorphosis blood right down. Sinister gaze. Now they've got the rupture and the silence. Can they kill him before the silence is up? Yes, they can! <gasps> KXY survives! Flee King RD as well as KJ need to run. Pacus. Thinking with the Omni Slash, but a lot of creeps here probably would mitigate the damage. You gotta be careful with how hard you dive here on uh, this blood seeker as well. PETA. Much as you think uh, you want to go in with all this movement speed, you got to be careful. Avalanche, toss. But right again, Wave Fury, they'll get the kill. Now, uh, 40R comes over. It's going to remnant forward. Arrow hits onto the tiny. They're really doing well with what they're throwing from the side of Team Brazil. Omni Slash needs to get the kill on a KJ. They have the duel as well as the Avalanche toss onto the Amber. They get yet another kill. And all of a sudden, one after the next, die on Team Brazil to Infamous. Infamous just uh, tearing them apart right now. They take the top tower, they quickly rotate bottom, destroy the enemies underneath their tier one, and this is all before uh, Costa Bila is really able to fight. He doesn't have any items completed, just has his power tread and the metamorphosis and cooldown. And again, I was saying, Team Brazil, they're very happy to be taking a slower pace for this game. Blood right comes through, they've got the Blade Fury. Do they want to go for it? Pita moving at 520 move speed. Time to get back, heal up, bathe in the cool waters of this ward. Okay, XY taking some damage, but it looks like they want to engage again. Dyer's bottom tower is under Why would they want to stop? Avalanche toss, Whoa. remnant, avoiding the blood right. Now the remnant back. Still trying to take this 2-1 tower. Meanwhile, over mid, Enchantress is just trying to defend from Coast of Bule. They move forward looking for Pacus. I don't know if this is the chase you really want to try and secure. 
No, I don't think so either. But, uh, anything to, to give this Terrorblade a little bit more space, wait for him to get his uh, metamorphosis up. I mean, Terrorblade really wants uh, several items before he starts farming at uh, yeah, not saying at the start of this game. Very start, Infamous is happy to take it more slow now that we've, uh, or post landing phase. Uh, Terrorblade needs to be able to shove out lanes with the illusions uh, and get the first couple of items. Stampede, they were gonna sell and they will grab the easy kill. Double damage on Coast of Beale. Yeah. And uh, lets them bring her down pretty quickly in the course of the massive agility from uh, Terrorblade means that your untouchable isn't going to do a whole lot of work against him. Radiant should look to their bottom tower. Okay. What's he got so far? Tranquils, smoke, not much. Is in danger. Tiny, how close to the blink is he? Not awfully far, but still quite a ways. Is under we look at the net worth on these heroes on Team Brazil. Attack. Both the Ember and the Centaur are really searching for something. Why? Uh, in a bad spot. That's not where you want to be. Press the attack, Sinister Gaze. They'll toss back the Centaur now. They've got the duel out. The damage! Whew! Kills Flea! He may die here, but at least he's getting away with dual damage. Jeez. You know, infinite scaling. It always becomes worth it. You're at the 10 minute mark, and you've already managed to grab yourself 30 dual victory damage. What is a couple hundred gold? Gold is easily won and lost. Dual victory damage is forever. Radiant Just like diamonds. Yeah, so declares KXY. Sounds like somebody in the background has run off with some diamonds. They're after them. Let's slow down. Grabs out his haste room. He's probably happy to make some moves with this. See if he can catch anybody out. Michael is in the jungle, but he's not really the target you want to go on with the Ember Spirit. And 1300 HP makes him pretty difficult to bring down. I'm going after, like, uh, and probably Enchantress, best case scenario. Just do the NA do it a special to him. Triple Remnant, and no way out afterwards. So, now they start to head towards top. A cell will find King RD. Hope's not used. Long enough stun where he gets away from the Enchantress. Meanwhile, just farming top is KXY. Pepito over mid. He's got more farm than the two next cores on the side of Brazil. It's the 3k lead from Infamous and doing well enough to control most of the dire side of the map that sent Coast of Bioe to the Radiant Jungle to farm. KJ. Being pursued by most of the enemy team only goes to pick up these bounties and... He ends up getting away with it, though. Despite uh, the fact that Infamous controls their side of the map, the Lich, uh, all by himself, walks, grabs the bounties, and walks away. Well, not great bounty control there by Infamous, unfortunately. Well, they've been doing most other things pretty well this game. A cell? Uh-oh. Sinister Gaze, blood right down. Okay. Just kind of walking out of the high ground like that. I mean, you think it's safe. You got that uh, Observer Ward up over here. But, uh, little do you know. Alright. Enchantress is dead. They see an opportunity. They want to run the heroes forward. Actually, I'm not even sure what that uh, Moonlight Shadow was all about, I'm be honest with you. Just for this Ember Spear doesn't really seem worth it. And it seems like, uh... Is under attack. Team Infamous was confused about that one too. KXY just wants to run straight at him. Unfortunately, got baited out. Ooh, another remnant down. They're gonna stampede. Arrow flying through. Searing chains. Arrow actually misses him, but his shots coming in from himself. We trying to get the kill into Michael. They'll find themselves one. Blink hoops up, lands onto the Legion Commander. Now they get the double edge out. KXY in some trouble. Rupture out on a Costa Now they've got the blood right down, but Costa Bioe would just walk out of that. Not in much trouble. Jug's not here, so tier one looking likely to fall. Tier 1 is going to last very long underneath this metamorphosis and finally able to gain a little bit of map control on Team Brazil. So they get the second tower, but uh, this mid one is very important. We'll limit uh, how quickly Infamous is able to move around counter to Team Brazil. 
and they go into their jungle. We have a ward up here, so uh, it's probably more safe than their own. Peter's rupture is on cooldown for another 30 seconds, so they'll probably play this a little bit slower. Grab a couple creeps before getting into position. Maybe some of these tier 2 neutral items that just came up. Came back to even. This is uh, hmm. an even game now off of what was a 3k lead for Infamous. Blink, hoof stomp, chain frost, bouncing around, arrow hits onto the enchantress, bouncing back to Michael. Actually, has no creep to bounce to, but now they've got the avalanche as well as the toss. Michael ends up dead to here, has gone on the side of Infamous. A little bit of a lead for Team Brazil. They look over Pack as they'll take out his healing ward first. He goes into the Blade Fury KX. Why nearby? It's just the Blade Fury into the TP out. Yeah, I mean, I, I think you're honestly happy about uh, taking that trade on Team Infamous. You lose two of those heroes there. Uh, they're forced to commit quite a bit. They lost the Chain Frost, and they lost that Tier 1 tower. And making e invading the enemy territory that much easier. They're not going to be able to respond. Shadows. But Peter playing this very safe. The enemy team uh, has to go on him. I'm not sure this is really what you want. You've got a lot of town portal scrolls available, but I suppose you don't have the important one. But right down, they found him. Blink Hoof Stomp, Silence on a both the Terraboid as well as the Centaur. They'll get the Rupture down. He's got the Blink. This is a problem. Avalanche, King RD should be tossed back. Rupture doing some damage. Now he's under the tower for the duel. Blood right just in case anybody came in. So they get themselves one kill. They look over at Slowdown, aka 40R. But nothing doing. Just like that, uh, another plus 20 dual damage. It's been a little while for him. The last one was uh, over 13 minutes, six minutes ago. So happy to have that. Could have gone a little bit bad. Legion was the most important person to teleport into that, and their TP was on cooldown for a couple of uh, seconds at the start of that engagement. That's why it took him so long to get in there. But, uh, it's exactly how you should be playing. Always uh, walk into lanes, especially if uh, your tier 1s are all taken out and you're past the lane phase. Just being able to uh, react to your allies getting gone into another tower, start to turn the game around is super important. Peter <laughs> ends up dead bottom. Yeah. Snagging that Bloodseeker. I'm not sure he's expecting the enemies to be that far forward. Sell again, walk on the high ground. This is the same spot he's died in like 10 times. <laughs> you think he'll learn this time around? No. He says, okay guys, I found it. They've got vision over here. Smile. Yes, Excel. We knew that the last four times she died there. Uh, yeah, thank you, Flea. You learned nothing. <laughs> oh, you love to this is the Dota I love seeing, man. You know, the players uh, flaming each other, you know, threatening each other's lives at LAN. That's pretty, uh... The thuggery. I don't know about that. I don't know if I agree with that part. That's a bit much. It's like what the Smash community does, and I hate them. Unwashed Smash community. King RD, Blink, hooks up. Ooh, got the duel out in a 4DR. They'll get the kill into the Ember, but they lose Pacus. They lost pack is very quickly. Chain Frost thrown a KXY. Blood right down. That lands on the three. They've got the silence, but the clumsy net comes in for the Marana. Press the attack. Sinister Gaze. KXY. Overwhelming odds on the four. It won't keep him up. Three heroes dead on the side of Infamous. All of a sudden, Team Brazil running away with that fight. Goes to Bile. More than happy to keep this push going. Siege Creep is behind him. They have Fortify available. Probably take it out once it does get here. Pop that Fortify. But uh, goes to be like goes straight for the creeps instead. See creep does get taken down. Fortify is going to be up for or sorry, Metamorphos is going to be up for another couple of seconds here, giving goes to be late time to uh, rip this tower apart. Or at least I thought I would, but they do come TP in. They got the reactions, and of course, uh, Ember Spirit nowhere nearby to give them a hand, taking a team fight. Radiant are scanning for enemies. Scan comes out from the Radiant inside their own jungle. No, we know the Dyer is there. They don't know how many, though. That's the problem. I don't think they can get the... Oh, they can! Jug, Avalanche comes in, Arrow to follow it up. 
Attack is low. Press the attack. Keeps him alive. Blade Fury. Go in onto this Centaur, and they'll get the kill. Get more dual damage. So 90 dual damage for Legion Command. Rupture on to KJ. He'll TP out. Hey, that's bugged. Uh, I'm gonna take a screenshot of that one. What the water region? Oh, yeah, the, yeah. You saw that too? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That ain't right. I don't want him 90 HP a second from that ocean heart. We're still in the beta though, as they say. Oh, that arrow expiring just before connecting to Michael. They're not gonna be uh, not gonna be able to do anything about this Roshan, unfortunately. And Metamorph is still on cooldown for the Terra Blade, so he's not gonna want to try and take this fight anyways. Okay, I think it's under attack. Fixed? Yeah. Cause he Fixed was now. he had a hundred and eleven region. Avalanche comes in on the King RD. Oh! He was looking for the duel? KXY get tossed back by his own tiny. Yeah, you know, tiny airlines. You see them grieving. Dyer are scanning for enemies. Dyer get the scan, they know that. Coast of Bioy is getting wrapped on. Bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's bottom tower is no more. Uh, again, you're happy with this uh, more drawn out uh, style of play from Infamous, so. Terra Blade. Very happy to have uh, these illusions shove the lanes for him. One thing he does have to be uh, slightly. Wait, now. Blink. Look for the dual remnant away. Double remnant just to leave. Surprised you didn't pop that arcane room before using so much mana there on uh, Ember Spirit, but. Maybe be safe. You didn't go to base first or something. Again, one thing we have to worry about when shoving uh, lanes with this Terror Blade, or just having the Terror Blade in general, is Enchantress can just steal a lot of his illusions. Pretty low cooldown on the chant over here. 40 seconds. So, you think your uh, illusion's pushing down the wave and farming for you? Next thing you know, uh, belongs to Enchantress and she's shoving your wave. As the Scotty and Amanta. Scotty just getting finished. Chuck had the diffusal queued for a second. Now going back to the butterfly. Packus. Yeah, Why looking to make something happen? Top of the net worth for the moment. And so I'm supposed to be able to finish off that Scotty. Wonder what he's going to queue up next. And it will be a butterfly for him as well. Hmm. Top tower is so, as soon as they uh, see the first item, the butterfly come out on either hero, MKBs are going to start coming out, though. Just depends who gets what first. Uh, I believe whoever builds the MKB into the butterfly has the advantage. Mm, Jug actually switches off the butterfly and goes to the abyssal. I like that. For enemies. They've been lacking a little Dyer's bit of control. Tower is under attack. Mm. Centaur, King RD. He's been having a bit of a struggle this game, 05 and 10. Speaking of struggles, KXY just can't get his hands on this Ember Spirit. He's been trying for the last couple of minutes now. Ember's now very close to his Lincoln Spear. Just every time he uh, jumps on him, he just uh, isn't able to get quite close enough uh, for the instant duel or get that instant duel off. Uh, Ember Spear always managed to jump to his remnant when he gets on him. Rupture on the flee, leap attempt. Avalanche? On cooldown. Fortunate I was on cooldown for him, would have been able to stop that TP. Mm hmm. But, uh, uh I, I want to go back to the fact that they're just litting this Terra Blade farm. Uh, again, uh, Team Brazil is very happy to be playing at this slow pace that you're currently playing at, uh, playing at Infamous. Shoving the lanes with uh, his illusions, farming the jungle with his hero, 
Uh, yes, he's a uh, much lower level than Juggernaut. He's at 18 compared to Juggernaut's uh, 21. But again, this net worth will keep going in the favor of Terrorblade as this goes along, regardless of the fact that you have Battle Fury. Uh, you're farming several places at once with the TB. And you're shoving lanes safely with the TB. Pita. We're gonna finish off this Solar Crest. Next is the Butterfly Ooh. now. Paladin Sword for TB. Titan Sliver. Ooh, Costa Bile goes Basher. Yes, he he does. You no, know, it makes sort of sense. You get on top of the Juggernaut with your Abyssal. The question of whether or not you can be able to blow him up is a different story, but it will allow you to set up onto him and allow the center to follow up with a host stomp of his own. Otherwise, Oh, Link, Toast Stomp, Michael, Stomp. some trouble, Sinister Gaze, as well as the Starstorm. They'll get themselves at least one, though. Chase for a cell. Brandon right forward, Clum Clumsy Net used. I'll take a second. Yep, no Metamorphosis committed just yet, either. Over destruction found by Jug. Just to see which one he decides to keep, I'd definitely go with the Titan Sliver. Again, well, a decent amount of magic damage coming up from the other team, and you do like the status resistance. Yeah, he likes to keep it. Status resistance, excellent. A little while since the new commander got any dual damage. He's uh, tried to jump onto this Ember Spirit a couple of times now, but he has completed his Lincoln Spirit, so it'll make things more difficult for him. Once he gets this uh, Heaven's Halberd that he's currently working on, he's quick enough, he can jump on top of Ember, pop that uh, Lincoln Spear, then get the dual off. But again, hitting all those uh, keys in very fast succession Oops. does give the Ember a little bit more time. Stop. Hits on to Papita. I'll throw that Solar Crest out for KJ's here. Rupture used, not gonna matter. All five heroes come over for the side of Team Brazil. Oh, they get another kill this time onto the Bloodseeker. As five rotate pretty quickly for them. MagD uh, probably cares a lot less than anyone else that the rupture's on him. Very big boy. 4.6 strength per level. 2.5k at the moment, despite only having uh, one HP item, which is uh, the health he got from the Vitality Booster, which is Crimson Guard. Excellent item in this game, by the way. Being able to slow down uh, damage from both the Commander and the Juggernaut. I guess. Backing off while the rest of the team is inside the dire jungle. We've got Michael who's going four staffs into an alleged Ags. And a Legion who only has 90 dual damage right now, sitting currently at level 16 for KXY. Compare that to the Ember who's at 19. So, despite the fact that 4DR had a, a rough early mid game, he has really come back in a big way and has really outpaced this Legion commander. Mm hmm. Yes. Never refuse gold given. Agent's uh probably feeling a little bit awkward right now. Still sitting on this ocean heart, it seems. Neutral items for him. Uh, so he could take a several things here. Why are you still sitting on this ocean heart? You've got Ring of Aquila, you've got Imp Claws, you've got Spider Leg, you've got Orb of Destruction. Are you AFK or something? <laughs> Pack is over mid in some trouble. Blink post on no quick fingers! Blade Fury, you need to think about going in on this. They pop the Lincolns, now they've got the blood right down. Chain Frost bouncing around as into the Metamorphosis close to Bealy. They'll try to get the damage onto the Legion Commander, but they've got that Ember Spirit down low. They get the kill on the KXY, they look over at Pacus. Pacus' is Omni Slash is down, he's already used it. They didn't do the damage onto these heroes on the side of Team Brazil. They give chase, they only find the Legion for now. Blood right comes in, there's the blink, the, not the blink forward, but the leap forward from Flea to get the Clumsy Knight onto a cell. Take out the Enchantress, two heroes got on the side of Infamous, looking like the tier two's gonna fall too. Oh, you respect this Terror Blade. Look at how much team uh, damage he did. Like, uh, more than 3,000, like a fraction of a second. He starts hitting you uh, for just a little bit and everybody gets blown up and you're forced to disengage after he's popped that Metamorphosis. You didn't need to give him as much space as you did uh, for him to have these items. The fact that he got the Paladin Sword doesn't help you at all either, but things get worse and worse as the game goes on. This Terrorblade will outscale the Juggernaut, and until you get like hundreds of dual damage on the Legion Commander, it's going to outscale her too. You don't play late game into this Terrorblade. 
Yeah, this is uh, getting tougher and tougher despite the fact that Jug has a 2k net worth lead on him. Again, this lead doesn't mean a whole lot. It's going for this uh, butterfly still in the Juggernaut. And you don't know it on Coach Belay. Maybe Jug takes an amazing team fight with his butterfly reveal, but uh, is a 35% evasion for one team fight really going to make the difference? We'll see. Ooh, they're smoked. I don't know if this is in time. No, it's not. Grabs the Are they still going to wrap on this? They don't have Omni Slash to work with, but they'll look for the Blink as well as the Duel on a Fui. They've got the blood right down. They should be able to get the kill. Meanwhile, the Avalanche as well as the Toss on a two of these heroes. They look over at King RD. Stampede used. Michael in trouble. Rupture comes out. I believe that's on to King RD. He's really the one who cares least about this. They'll look over at Paxis. They've got a double damage on the Coast of Billy, so they're trying to disengage on the side of Infamous Soda Fist as well as the Searing Chains. Press the attack comes in from KXY on a Paxis. Now they've got the bashes from Coast of Billy. Chain Frost bounces over to the neutrals. Akis, Blade Fury still trying to run, gets the healing ward out, and that's going to be away from the rest of the team. Can they keep the healing ward up? Can he stay alive? Press the attack. Four steps. Sinister Gaze now on the low ground. Blood right. Abyssal Blade onto the Seder just to try and get some oh, distance. No. It's not enough just yet, but the four step once again. They've got the Blade Fury pack as everything is being thrown at him, and he still won't go down. They will go over to Self Spider Fist. He gets him about a third of the health down. Now they've got the host stomp as well as the Blood right down, but it's not going to be enough to deter them from killing off this Enchantress. A very good job keeping Pacus alive. But how much are they going to give away for this? Papita just standing there, and now he ends up dead. Duel. And it's going to get worse and worse. It's not looking good here, but the dual victory is out for the Legion. King RD does go down. Now they've got the Abyssal Blade onto the TV. He doesn't have Sunder. They know that because it was used a little while ago on a Papita. Michael's taking a lot of damage. The Blade Fury on the Coast of Belia. If they can get this kill, this will be massive. They'll take out the Aegis. They should be able to stay around him. Avalanche on Kugel down. They only have Toss. Coast of Belia now slowed to the Enchant from a cell. We coming over as well as KJ. Arrow thrown their way. Now they've got the Toss out on a KJ. Avalanche hits on a couple of these heroes. Coast of Belia continuing to run. They get the kill on a KJ. They will go over Flea as well as Coast of Belia. They still want to chase for this. Michael has the Blink Dagger and Toss in just a second. So. Blink Dagger in two seconds. They get right under Coast of Belia. The buyback's being used by 40R. The arrow's gonna miss. Blink Fury used. Pekus, I believe, thinking about going into the uh, TP, but he knows that TP's got himself a basher. He probably wouldn't get out of that one. The Sunder's used onto his cell to get Paxis all the way out. And now Michael just trying to juke and jive around the dire side, but the slight and the damage from Flea is enough to get the kill. Yeah, and while you're forced to buy back on several heroes here on uh, Team Brazil, you're more than happy to continue up with this push. Tiny, unfortunately, uh, does have his buyback off of cooldown. But uh, that's wild. I mean, you, you couldn't bring down that Terror Blade. You chased him all the way across the map and you couldn't grab him. What do they, where do they go from here? Another 70 seconds. I think you just stall out Team Brazil. You can't bring him down when he's metamorphed. You have to bring him down his entire team first. It's gonna just get harder and harder. The one mistake I did see there that I didn't like from Coast of Beelon is the fact that he uh, kept trying to move away from the Juggernaut while he's in that spin. He's got the Paladin Sword. I think you stand your ground, you fight while you're in that Metamorph, and you try to lifesteal uh, up all the damage he's doing with his Blade Fury. But it happened that last fight there, unfortunately. Another uh, five minutes until Roshan responds to the absolute minimum as well. So Team Brazil, if uh, Infamous will let them, just play slow once again. So there was dual damage had in that exchange. Works out. Now sitting at uh, 140 dual damage. The infinite scaling. Everyone, infinite scaling. This guy wants to go into the ultra late game. Terrorblade's fine with the sword late game. We're playing very tight together right now on Team Brazil. MKB committed by Costa Vila. Allies disappear. That's for Bloodseeker. He's also got that veil. Meanwhile, they found Tiny and they'll get the kill. Yeah, they get the outpost back. Meanwhile, KXY. 
It's hiding down towards bottom. What's this courier grabbing? Uh, for Marana. So can you ult you up to the Solar Crest? Yeah. Not sure what uh, this Terrorblade goes Ooh, for. Blade Mail, goes Link. Will onto the Marana. A lot of time to get the victory and will do so. So now up to 170 What's dual damage. Kill there. Mm -hmm. We'll slow down that ulti orb getting picked up and uh, slow down that solar crest in front of the Marana. Just find a Minotaur Horn and Ember Spirit, but again, I'm probably going to pass that one over to another hero on the team. Terrorblade, maybe? Terrorblade is fine with another Minotaur Horn, right? Another form of magic unity. It's actually not going for, um... Ooh. Ooh. Spell Prism for the Ember. That is an excellent item. Four mana, second, 12 all stats, and 20% cooldown reduction. I think I'll go for the uh, Aegidim Scepter next to the Ember Spirit if he's got a Spell Prism. Mm, maybe. That's like a possibility. <sighs> Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. Yeah. are scanning for enemies. So keeping the lane shift out with illusion. He's got the double damage in. So if he could Omni Slash something right now, he'd be very happy to. His leveler as well. And you could start leveling. Top tower is under attack. We'll say going back in this game, it's only a 5k lead. You think about the save they had on that jug. Now a spoo spell prism for infamous too. It's been a while since I've seen that item drop regularly. I normally see it like once in a very 50 games. It feels like it just drops less than other things. Or maybe I just think it's too good and every time it's Hoof Stomp out on a Pupita. They've got the press of the attack. Arrow was flying in preemptively to try and land it after the Hoof Stomp came through. Shadow loosed by Pacus. He's got 4,000 gold saved up. Mm -hmm. Nothing doing off that attempt. Four K lead slowly dwindling for the side of Team Brazil. They're still set up here on the high ground while Infamous you know, walk right past these illusions. They're gonna go for Costa Bue. They're at least trying to get the duel out. Blink a little bit too far. Now they found him, they got the Abyss Blade. Now the duel comes in. Blood right down. No way the Sunder comes off. They got the kill into the terrible ladies there for 90 seconds. And now the rest of the side of Team Brazil need to leave. They look over at 4DR, they've got the solar crest. I'm sure used. Leave that top the Lincolns. The Rupture was wasted there. Ember able to escape. Does his best to get the hell out of there after the Terra Blade goes down, but Fortify has been used on their team already. Three minute cooldown. They decided to start pushing towers right now. Not a whole lot Team Brazil could do to the stop them. And with these uh, Blink Daggers getting out of their back lines, the Ember has to be pretty careful himself. Vince Halbert never completed on the Legion Manor, but Force Staff is, so he still have the option of jumping on the back line. Uh, Oh no, the vision up. Leading commander. He's just dead. It goes their chance to push. I mean, they can take that tower, but they can't take that tower, certainly, right? Said Neff nervously. Oh my god, the leveler. He's leveling it. Shadow used. Terrible is still dead for 24 more seconds. They've got the blink as well as the hoofs on onto the jug. Pack is just standing his ground. Uh, Blood right lands on the King RD. They'll start to give chase. Blade Fury and the run. 40 are moving forward. The leap from Flea. He's trying to close the gap. Gets the Soul Crest out onto Michael. They use the Stampede. They'll go after Pepita, but they've got themselves the Blood right. Are they going to stay on this? He's got the Silence. So Pack is meant to have an opportunity to go for this kill. He's got the Abyssal Blade ready to go. They've got the Lincolns. Find themselves Michael, toss back to the Ancients, using those spider legs to try and juke. <gasps> Ooh. Arrow! Oh, just short. Or just late. Dyer's bottom barracks has fallen. They got the range barracks, and they ended up getting the melee one, despite committing so hard before. Surprising, Chagonaut took that melee barracks down in no time at all. Finally have the uh, silver edge online for Chagonaut. Now he's just going for a satanic. 
Reloads his knife for the jug. Hands that off to nobody just yet. Back is what is he going for? Satanic? He's got the Omni Slash duration. You think the Swift Slash is worth it, or are these heroes too tanky on the side of Rizzo for it to matter? Uh, I think a lot of them are too tanky. Lich, Marana, still all right to do against those guys, but everybody else, uh, it's too difficult to bring down in that amount of time, and too difficult. But the armor just not moving as much anymore. Definitely better off starting to build uh, in, like Yule Scepters to juke the enemy team. Glimmer Capes for when they don't have regen. Or, of course, uh, hard disables like Yule's uh, to keep the enemies out of team fights. Ready. Enchantress. Dyer's Ghost Scepter. Is under Searing Chains, not in time. Meanwhile, though, they've got the opposed Visible that comes in under Michael. Now the Rupture to follow it up. The blood right down. They've got Pakistano about half health. They've used the Manta. They try to get the damage on the KXY. He pops the BKB, but the right clicks from Costa Bilia are much too, more, too much too much for him to handle. Costa Bilia still does have this cheese to fall back on. They can manage to shove these lanes, might be able to get tier 3 from him, but they start moving towards the Roche pit. Roche is up, Aegis Cheese Refresher Shard available. Probably take this Refresher Shard on the Terra Blades, we can pop that double metamorphosis. Sure there it is, to get the Aegis. The uh, Refresher Shard actually goes to the Marana. That's an interesting one. Certainly she doesn't hold on to it, does she? Might be holding it for the TV. Or double arrow, Smile. Mm -hmm. You know, we'll see. So get that five second arrow, refresh another five second arrow. Totally worth it. You gotta get the multi shot arrow, triple arrow into triple arrow. Uh. Amateur of me did not assume. And all the outer towers taken. Roshan also taken. Nap belongs to Team Brazil now. Look the bottom to stake their claim onto the Dyer Shrine outpost. Many. continuing to farm. He's been looking for this Ags for a long time. Papita, he's got a gem. He's got that Solar Crest. Now a pipe finished off. Nothing Jug going into the Satanic. 5,000 gold saved up. He's got only a 1,300 uh, surplus at the moment. Michael? Oh. Almost a catch. He's not able to grab him. Things have slowed down to a crawl in this game again. I'm wanting to see some action. Players got me uh, dozing off at the moment, but both teams are afraid of the other one grabbing the initiation. You have a lot of things on this Juggernaut, and of course, he's able to start spamming out the creep wave safely with his illusionary cape again. 30 second active, 30 second cooldown, 200% damage taken, 50 second, or sorry, 50 percent image damage dealt. Able to clear through these waves pretty quickly, as is Terrorblade. I don't want to see these people sending drones at each other. I want to see blood. Speak up. All right, there, Mario Yamasaki. Relax. <laughs> but uh, we'll, we'll get you that fight. We'll try. Or we'll crack open another one of these monsters behind me, and then uh, chat will complain that uh, one has gone missing again. No, I'm some real PTSD in there. Is TV close to 30? No, he's actually behind Jug in terms of levels. Yes, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. He's sending his uh, illusions at the fire most of the time for him, so he's not getting the XP from you know, Jug and head on to the Battle of Fury, just to get more groups. Start to siege here in multiple lanes. They've got siege creeps hitting the top tower. Gem on the ground, dropped by Pepita. Picked up that Lotus Orb. 
This is what he'd use onto the Jug. King RD following this up with a stun. Damage out onto this Jug. Is it going to be enough? He goes into the Omni Slash to try and save himself. It's bouncing around. Do they have the damage to get the kill on a King RD? He's getting over the Burrow Larry on the ground. They'll get the kill on a King RD. They're taking out Michael. Now they've got the Aegis out of the hands of the TV. Behind them is Flea as well as 4DR and KJ. So they're going to try and keep TV alive. Goes to Mule. He starts the man fight packets, but the Lotus Orb is there. They've got the blood right down as well as the silence. He'll eat the cheese, but a missile blade to follow it up. Chain Frost bouncing around. They've got themselves the toss. That's on a 40 yard. That's right next to Packers. It goes into the blade. Fury trying to survive this all, but the stun is there. The duel is out. He gets away. The blood right down. Can they get the kill on the TB? He's getting low. Yes, they can. They've taken him out. He's gone for 100 seconds. Now they look at the rest of the team. The Bloodseeker's moving very quickly. They've got the toss out on the Marana. They'll buy back on the TB. They get the kill on the KJ. They look over at Flea. They've got themselves another on the Marana. 40 yard force to remnant away. Triple kill for Packers. And on the side of Infamous, they lose Tiny and Enchantress, but they both buy back. So five heroes here for Infamous. And they should probably be able to force the buybacks of the rest of the Brazil side. Three heroes bought back, though. But uh, 18,000 XP change in the swing of Infamous. And 34,000 gold the way of Team Brazil. I'm not sure what they do from here. Or even count uh, Glitch. Oh, close to Bule. That's massive. He's not going to have that Satanic. His courier ends up dying with the Reaver on it. Oh, no. Onto itself. Blink duel hits on a Bule. You just bought back. Avalanche comes through from Michael. Now we've got the Chain Frost, but that's going to be hit with the Lotus Orb. Oh, the damage on the Pacus! They weren't expecting it. He's got buyback, but they'll take out a Cell. That was close. Oxen just got blown up instantly. The damage from the Ember with the Daedalus, the double slight. Uh, 812 damage done in a fraction of a second. Uh, Ember Spirit completely decimated the Terra Blade there. And now he's got the Octarine Core. Oh my god. So... That, okay. Lowers the cooldown of things, but that's about it. I'm not sure this is the item either. I, I think it might be. Just have those slights up with the Daedalus and the Deso. Maybe. I will say they haven't forced the buyback of the Jug just yet, so he's holding on to 6,000 gold. He wants to go into a BKB. They did force the buybacks on everybody on the Dire side. So. Win, f winning formula available for Infamous. Ember Spirit head down to the bottom lane, but Lady Commander is set up for this. She has the Blink Dagger. She has Force Staff. She's gonna... Oh, she's too slow. Force Staff's him, but isn't able to be close enough. Gets hit by that Searing Chain. He doesn't have the cast range for the duel afterwards. Trying, though. <laughs> Very much so trying. Okay, we next Roche is everything. Ages Cheese, Refresher Shard, Ag's Blessing. Another minute and 20 seconds here. Both teams very playing very tight to each other. I think uh, Radiant Team, or sorry, Diet Team, getting ready to smoke up. The only reason why you play this far back is to smoke up, question mark? Roche timer at a minute. Minimum Roche spawn. <laughs> TB, I think he's just waiting for that satanic. Use that curry to come back alive. E boy picked up for a cell. Tag in next for the Bloodseeker. This uh, next Roche fight, I think, will be a uh, deciding factor of the game. Both teams just too desperate to get it and get a little bit of advantage from it for uh, either of them to exist. Let's see what this Roche timer is going to be. Just slow down to a crawl, and I hate it. I hate it. I hate 35. It. I hate it. Minute 35 till we start to see the action again. Well, yeah, you gotta wait for this Satanic. You gotta wait for this Courier. I, I think that's oh the play here God. for Team Brazil. 20 seconds left on that. 
It is one of you are playing wrong if both of you want to wait for your next items. I can assure you that. Well, it's not always true, but it's true most of the time. But Satanic uh, getting closer here on the Terror Blade. Let's get this Reaver. Axe picked up by the Tiny. Now he's got Tree Volley. He's got the Satanic coming. Tiny has the Tree Volley. Ember Spirits, or sorry, Lich still working on that uh, Aeon Disc. Ember Spirit, uh, just a little bit of gold away from this Divine Rapier that he Ooh. has. He has. Of course, uh, the Minotaur Horn for Mariah. Hmm. So out with, uh, setting up near the Roche Pit. Take their outpost back. Roche up in 25. Definitely a big. Uh, Point of contention coming out. Juggernaut has uh, all of his farm. The last thing he needs to close out his build is that uh, Aegidim's Blessing. It cost like 1500, or sorry, uh, 6000 gold. Dyer's I'm going to as well. Ag's Blessing on the TV. Get the, uh, the fear. One. There it is. Roshan is up. Once these teams realize it's there, there's going to be a bloodbath for it. Hmm. Realizing it's there, seems to uh, make their way. Roche up. Everybody here for the side of Infamous, looking Radiance like they're about to clash. Are getting ready to clash. Where are you going? So, so far away on Team Brazil. Come on, show us the action. The Roshan is in the pit. You guys need to do something. Both of you can't just sit in these groups here. One of you needs to take a fight to the enemies eventually. Illusions in. By the way, Paca's getting close to that level 30. No, they're not in the pit. They've gone to the smoke. Moonlight Shadow used. They're in Viz nearby. They were looking for the duel. The dust doesn't land. Fully able to avoid that. Paca's with the spider legs. Might want to be careful. Goes into Blade Fury and trying to get next to his team or back over to his team. Where does Michael need to be for this? Tree Probably the they're coming dead. forward. They're already in the metamorphosis. Coast of Bill going in with the Andes B. Popeye KXY. They go after Peter with the record damage coming in for Coast of Bill. More than enough to get the kill out of the Bloodseeker. They take him out. He's got the blood right down. That silences up the TB, but they got the damage out on a pack. As Pack is going to get the damage out before he dies. And no, he falls. KXY gives up 60 dual damage to the TB. Buyback used by the Bloodseeker as well as the Legion Commander. They look over at Michael. They get the kill out of the tiny dead for two minutes. He does not have gold for buyback. And, well, there's everything. All of a sudden, it's a 23,000 net worth. Wow. Okay. That's just how yeah. that works. Aegis uh, Refresher Shard Cheese will do that. Uh, just wildly swing <laughs> well in one favor, especially if you just lose a Roche fight. But, yeah. well, again, well deserved on uh, these players. Can't believe Tiny doesn't have enough gold for buyback there. I'm just surprised that uh, they've allowed Terrorblade to farm this long. Oh, whoa. Stop it. Found, why is KXY there? Come on, I don't know. I don't, I don't think anybody can do anything about uh, terribly but to do this base here. If this pops a refresher shard, uses metamorphosis, and just starts tearing apart these buildings, just like earlier. Yeah, he's got the metamorphosis attack range, so Jug's not even using buyback. Trying to hold out the 24 seconds, but now finally uses it. Not certain he's even gonna have the damage. BKB is actually in his backpack. The 10 second BKB that's in his backpack. E Blade bounced back. They got the tier fours down. Packers thinking about going in. They use the rupture again on a King RD, but the damage coming from Post is gonna be more than enough to take up the ancient if they don't do anything about it. Nobody looking over to stop this. They have Fortify. Right They're they baiting this out. All right, Fortify comes in. They've left him there. The Omni Slash goes to the back line. doesn't do anything. The lock is just horrible. The Lotus are actually being used by 40 yards, so he ends up staying alive with the Omni Slash. The right click has come in. Brazil will take the game. And Infamous. Yeah, I mean, that was uh, a little anticlimactic, that's for sure. 
Yeah, I was expecting to see more blood than that at the end there. Again, kind of an awkward Roche engagement. Terra Blade is allowed to rip through your team, then he just tears your Ancient apart. And I, I feel like, yes, you were afraid of uh, taking a fight into Team uh, Brazil if you were on Infamous there, but you didn't respect Costa Bile's Terra Blade. I was saying at the start of the game, this guy will eventually outscale your heroes. Unless you have the Legion Commander with so much dual damage, he's going to win. That's exactly what ended up happening there. So Infamous, playing scared and playing scared into the hands of Team Brazil. And they win. Costa Bile TB, everybody. Finished yeah. the game. That was... Um odd <laughs> uh, yeah very very odd the way that uh that one ended very slow very um lack of, i don't know the jug just i guess he didn't buy back realizes that he wasn't gonna i don't know take take the game back uh, just it's a very <laughs> split up fight by the roche pit too jug never got that omni slash off by the roche pit things just didn't go that well for infamous in those final fights so at the end of the day they end up splitting it one apiece now we've got the last series of the night beast coast against thunder predator so we'll be back with that in just a moment maybe we'll see more blood but uh yeah beast coast thunder predator should be a good one we'll be back in a moment with that see you in a bit grudge match let's go street dota see you guys soon <laughs> 